You can create amazing AI images like this, this, or this using Microsoft Paint. Yes, this software right here, luckily for us, it is powered by OpenAI's DALI 3. On today's episode, I'm going to show you really quickly how to do it. And more importantly, we're going to take a closer look at some amazing tips and tricks so you can get the images you want. Let's take a closer look in today's episode. Right now, you can use what is called co-creator in Microsoft Paint to generate AI art. And we can see this is using the powerful AI model called DALI. I do believe it's using DALI 3 because as we're going to see in the future, you can also create and add text to the images like this right here. All right, so it's very easy. Just open up your favorite Microsoft tool, Paint, right? I think every, I've only ever used Paint before to use the squares and the triangles to make houses. I don't think I've ever really used Paint for anything crazy. But now with Co-Creator, which you will find up here on the top right, once you click it, you will be able to add a form of prompt. And what is pretty interesting about Microsoft Paint and, and their kind of Co-Creator solution is they allow you to choose a style. You can either choose no style, but you can also create your image via a digital art, pixel art, and anime. And right now we're gonna take a closer look at how to do that and the different types of examples. Um, but first I wanna showcase, I, I wanted to try different things out. So this is the kind of picture that we got from Microsoft when they announced Microsoft Paint and Co-Creator and Dolly 3. And what I was really curious about was not the image. The image looks amazing in my opinion, but was the way that the character was being prompt or how this image was prompt. And to me, it was more prompt like an engineer prompt like we see in Mid Journey opposed to how we see in Dolly. I feel like in Dolly 3 and OpenAI's ChatGPT, it's more of a sentence where here it's more of like, hey, I want this. A little cute pirate, comma, running, co comma, colorful, comma, digital painting, and so on and so forth. All right, so let's take a closer look at examples. And just like them, I kind of did more of a, a prompt style base, a male pirate, comma, treasure chest, comma, glowing, comma, gl ultra detailed. One thing to note is when you look at variants, sometimes it might give you three, sometimes it might give you one or two. I do depend. I do believe it all depends on the kind of amount of request a server is receiving. So we're going to start off with the digital art style and we can see this is, I'm going to use the same prompt for all of them. Here are all the three pirates in a digital style. I do believe it is amazing and the quality right now is crazy, especially for it being a free service. But outside of it being a free service, Service, you do get credits. I don't know how Microsoft credits work too much. Uh, I do believe they kind of reset on a daily basis or on a weekly basis. You kind of start off with 50. So with one credit, I got these three images that I can share and, and save on my own whenever I want. Now, I, I wanted to test out all the different digital art styles. So here is charcoal right here. And again, look at the quality here of all the images. I think it's insane. Now, if we take a closer look at Ink Sketch, Ink Sketch was the first one that actually only gave me two variants and these are the two images uh, here we have watercolor uh, and here's the images that you get with watercolor I also only got two um, here is oil painting in oil painting again crazy the quality that you're getting and you're receiving and before we keep looking at any other images guys if you are enjoying it make sure to hit the thumbs up the subscribe button i'm really trying to grow this channel you guys have been amazing with the support i also have plenty of videos where you can kind of look at character consistency using dali so make sure to check that out if we take a closer look at photorealistic i, I always thought photorealistic was something else but it actually reminds me more of a, a cartoon or maybe a image a, a video from a video game it's it does seem pretty interesting. We're getting some weird fingers and that's typical with, I want to say, most AI generation tools. Um, but overall, outside of that, the quality and the texture look pretty amazing here from Paint. Um, we have two more. We have Anime here. Anime also looks pretty cool. I want to say this one in the left looks like something from Dragon Ball C. Maybe in my right looks like something from Fairy Tale. The final one is Pixel Art, and Pixel Art is very pixelated. Um, but again, I do believe the amount of image quality that we're getting here is pretty amazing. 
And one thing you might notice here, though, is all the images that we took a closer look are pretty much a one by one um, aspect ratio, right? And for video quality, you either use 16 by 9 or 9 by 16, depending on what you're doing, if you might be doing a, a short or long term content. Um, but here we are only able to get one by one. In other AI tools like Midjourney, like ChatGPT, OpenAI's DALI, you're able to kind of the dictate the aspect ratio and here i tried various way i try to put just a 16 by 9 aspect ratio here and unfortunately nothing happened i still only got a one by one uh size image uh so i do believe this is probably helping them kind of maintain their server capacity or the amount of computation they're doing per server uh, but right now you are only limited to one by one the other thing i actually wanted to learn is is this able to create text and this is allows me to kind of understand if it's using Dolly 3 or maybe some weaker version. I don't believe it's necessarily the top of the line version because I said text saying gold and it gave me not necessarily the best. Some of them kind, this one almost made it, uh, but we can see all of them uh, made a mistake, uh, but we can see that the text is at least readable. And it's also going with the right direction, right? It's not like it was random text and random letters. It's really trying to give me that gold style text. I also wanted to kind of go a little bit further and kind of just put a text within an image. And again, it tries. Sometimes it might get it right. Sometimes it might get it wrong. Here was looking for a pirate opening a treasure chest that said gold. And you can see it's trying to add uh, the text in the right place. Um, but unfortunately, it did not hit the mark with the text so i actually tried it one last time and i said hey give me a comic book strip of a pirate with a treasure chest saying r and this is actually came out pretty good a two out of the three had the correct spelling um and it gave me more of a comic style book image and i do believe this is a great entry to the ai market if you haven't really used any other ai tool uh, i do believe kind of the prompt style kind of the choosing your style is something where we, we've seen other more pro uh, ai image generation use i want to say it is a free service like i keep mentioning but it does come with limitations right you can't really build character consistency but you can kind of focus on similar art style if you kind of pick the right art style selection or two style like this uh, so i do believe while you might not be able to create the same character you will be able to create maybe a family of characters within the same world and i do believe and, and many people can use their creativity and create create some amazing stuff out of this so i hope you guys are enjoying the video so far what i am excited about microsoft creating these solutions is it brings more people into this technology and the more people that are aware of this technology the more investment and research and development that's going to go here so it's going to increase the amount of technological leaps we're going to see in the future so i hope you guys enjoyed today's episode again it was just a quick one i wanted to take a closer look at dali with microsoft paint and i hope you enjoyed it so take care have a good day and see you next time